This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Day update for Friday, November 22nd, 2013. I'm Kmar Jordan. The Umbrella Farmers Body is not in favor of government's decision to grant food and beverage concessions to Sandals. It is also telling the government, don't make the mistake of extending these concessions to local hoteliers. Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Agricultural Society, James Paul, says he's been trying for years without success to get hotels to buy local produce. And he fears that even if they get concessions that they've been asking for, they would still import produce that could be sourced locally. Paul, who is a government MP, also criticizes his own administration, saying food and beverage concessions should be the last type of relief a government should give to foreign investors like Sandals, who may not even have the interests of local farmers at heart. We understand that some of the principles of Sandals will be visiting here in December, and it is our intention to approach their uh, purchasing um, chief person, person in order to understand what their policy will be in relation to the purchase of local agricultural produce. We, as a matter of fact, will be within the BAS, will be making arrangements to try to ensure that we put farmers in the best position to be able to supply the sandals groups with any local fruits and vegetables that they will require. Still no end in sight to the strike at the Barbados Water Authority. In fact, Union boss Sir Roy Trotman says the action will continue next week since no agreement has been reached with management of the BWA. More money in the pockets of Oyston's vendors. They're boasting of increased sales as the Food and Wine and Rum Festival got going there yesterday evening. The five-day festival features five top international and local chefs. Our business has been great, especially today. An event like today, it has been wonderful. And I would hope that this sort of event will come to Barbados more often. Me and the international chef and stuff like that. It is actually nice, it actually be inspirational for me. I will actually, I'm what, only 26, I'm like the literally the youngest chef in Oysters right now. And as I say, it was actually inspirational for me. And I would love it to be actually be like every year, literally every year. The international stars coming to Barbados on Thursday night have been a good thing for us in Oysters. In sports, powerful cyclone Helen, which has already caused seven deaths and widespread damage, has put Sunday's one-day international between the West Indies and India in serious doubt. The weather system made landfall on Friday morning along India's east-central coastline, bringing with it heavy downpours and wind gusts of up to 80 miles per hour. Thousands were evacuated from the coastline prior to the cyclone's arrival. While heavy rain is expected to subside, localized downpours are expected to continue. Persistent rain on Friday meant that scheduled practice sessions for both teams were canceled on Saturday. Yes, I know what you're saying. It might be a blessing in disguise. Stay with us. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcomed. In regional news, a human rights group in Jamaica is calling for the head of the police commissioner. Jamaicans for Justice says Owen Ellington has failed to keep the murder rate down and under control. They also accuse him of presiding over the highest number of fatal police shootings ever seen in Jamaica. Internationally, the death toll from the typhoon that hit the Philippines has risen to more than 5,000. The National Disaster Agency says 5,200 people lost their lives and many more are still missing. The typhoon tore through the country two weeks ago as one of the most powerful ever recorded. 
That's our 6 p.m. update. For more news and sports, log on to www.borislay.bb for more news and sports. I'm Kemar Jordan. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes,